slabs of pavement debris. That's how some describe a portion of the lakeshore path. Some of that sticking out the length of your hand, creating six to eight inch speed bumps in places that you really wouldn't expect them. CBS 2's Jeremy Ross live along the lakeshore with our original report. Jeremy. Good evening, Rob. The Park District telling us the elements had a major impact on what we're seeing out here. And to give you an idea of really what that impact is, we break out the soccer ball. What I'm going to do is I'm going to kick it across the surface here, and you get an idea of how warped this pavement is. Now imagine trying to ride a bike out here. This is a major tourist attraction. If the Lakeshore Path is the face of this city, it is starting to show blemishes too big to ignore. It's bad out there. Too big to bike through, forcing some to walk over. To have something like this happen is terrible. South of Oak Street Beach, you'll find sections of warped, cracked, uneven surface. A 30-yard stretch of the high-use running and bike path looking more like a BMX course. Those not hopping over the pavement debris find themselves maneuvering around it. Over the past decade, Cliff Gilbo has seen the elements chip away at this stretch of pavement. Not quite this bad. This year's results remind him of a natural disaster. Kind of a small earthquake on the path here. It looks a little dangerous. The concern is someone biking or running will eventually take a detour to the hospital. While there are markers indicating the city is aware of the problem, a short walk north, you'll find another marker reading fix me. That's crazy. We can't show you what a vandal left next to those words, but the perverted plea to address the pavement is gaining support. We live in a better city than what we see here. The Park District issuing this statement reading, quote, after a season of windy weather and high wave action, portions of the Lakefront Trail are in need of repair. The Chicago Park District has assessed the damage in impacted areas. They go on to say that those repairs will be made sometime within the next two weeks.